Hello everyone and welcome to this week's ExtendScript Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be going over the built-in math functions inside of ExtendScript. Now these are built-in math functions for most JavaScript, but ExtendScript does use an older version of JavaScript that doesn't support as many built-in methods. So if you want to get a full list of all of these, I'm sure you can find it online, but I like to use it within the ExtendScript browser itself. So if you make sure you're in Window Data Browser, you can scroll down to the math object, which you can see is right here, a nice little cube object. And this will contain all of the operators, functions, and enumerations built into the math object. So I have here a basic script with some different variables, and we're going to apply some different math operators and see how it all works. So I have an integer set to five with no decimals. I have a decimal number with a bunch of decimals, and I have a variable called shape degrees just representing a 90 degree angle. So we can look through here and see, of course, we have multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division. That's pretty normal for math. And then we have absolute value, a cosine, a sine, a tangent, a tangent two. And these are probably equivalent to the inverse or one over tangent, one over cosine. We can use the cosine, exponent, or have a number to certain powers, flooring, which is basically rounding. We can calculate the log of something the max or the min of it. We also have built-in natural constants like pi and uh, e. We use the random one quite a bit. We can also use the power function. We can round numbers as well rather than just flooring them. We can get the sine or the square root of something, the tangent of something, and that's pretty much all the math operators we need to do what we need to do in After Effects. So I have here just a couple of right lines to get these variables. I'm actually going to alert these so I can go over them one by one. So I'm going to grab my right lines and replace them with alerts. Now let's go ahead and run this script. The first thing we're gonna get is 1.609. We're just taking the log of the integer, which is five. So if I take log five, I get 1.6. Next we have, we're taking integer of five to the power of four. So five to the power of four is gonna give us 625. I say five times five times five times five, I'm gonna get 625 just like that. All right, and the next value, we're going to floor our decimal number, which essentially means round it so there's no decimals. So we're gonna take 10.59495503 and get 10 in return. Then we'll take the square root of our integer five and get 2.236, which I believe should be accurate. Of course, it's not giving us as many decimals as some programs might, but this is plenty of precision for After Effects. Next up, we're just going to alert math.py, which again, you, there are some enumerated constants built in, which will tell you, hey, you don't have to calculate these on your own. We've already got them for you. So unfortunately, there's no tau, I don't believe, but uh, that we can get pi from this. And the last one's a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna take our shape degrees or 90 degrees and get the sign of it. So that's actually gonna be 0 0.89399, et cetera. So you can use these mathematical methods and operators to uh, do geometry, algebra, all the types of math you would need to have cool designs or do any calculations you want. And that's actually going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you want a full list again, you can check out the data browser or just the built-in JavaScript math library. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave the thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And of course, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it to be notified of new videos coming out every Monday and Thursday. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next one.